MMAweekly.com, Damon Martin here with Christian Moorcraft. Uh, Christian, there's a fair amount of hype in this fight uh, surrounding Matt Mitrione. You know, he's had a lot of big wins. Um, do you feel like you're going into this fight a little underrated? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. But that's fine because an upset's the best thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the man really, I want to swear. I want to. <laughs> I can go. I want to say whatever I want to say, you know what I mean? But I'm trying to be nice here on the camera, you know? Yeah, I know I'm underrated. Matt Mitchell has had four fights in the UFC. I've only had two. I'm one and one. I got knocked out my first fight after I was dominating. And uh, it's, it's time to uh, X that out, clean the slate, and get a big win over a big opponent here in Matt Mitrione. I know that I'm uh, highly underrated, and nobody thinks that I can hang with him. But, uh, you know, it's not Fedor. How much does it, you know, when you when you see his style, you know, he's he's progressed a lot. I think the biggest compliment I hear about him is he learns really fast. Uh, what do you think when you've seen his last, you know, few fights in the UFC? Oh, I've seen a steady progression, but he's still got a you know a long way to, to catch up to other people in the wrestling and the jujitsu backgrounds and his striking background. Everyone talks about him like he's Muhammad Ali. He's not. His hands are down low. He doesn't turn his hips into his kicks or his punches. And sometimes his feet are off the ground. You know, everyone talks about him like he's a striking god. I can hang with Matt Mitrione. Come Sunday night, I'm going to show that to Pittsburgh, Steel City. You uh, you talked about the the one loss you had in the UFC, and I always hear the phrase, you know, you learn more from a loss than you do from a win. What's Absolutely. what's the what's the biggest thing you took away from that fight that you carried forward into your next one, and then obviously what you carry into this? Not one? Not to get too excited, man. Not to get the you can't count your chickens till they hatch, man. You know, I thought when I saw Shrew's lip bust open, I was like, oh, my people are going crazy back home. Oh, I got this, you know. I didn't have the best camp. I'm not saying because of the school that I was at. It was because of my injury and the financial situation that I was in. I lost fair and square. But now. I'm in a better spot, better shape, better mind frame, better strength, better skills, better everything, and I can't wait to unleash that on Sunday. Was that last win for you? I mean, uh, you know, a, a good statement win to show you know what you really could do. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I had Struve in that you know standing guillotine as well, and uh, if I would have pushed him up against the fence and you know kept the pressure on him with the guillotine, I would have had that too. But you live and you learn. You learn from your mistakes, right? How much of a statement when do you feel like a victory over Matt Mitrion will be for you, though? Um, it would be a big statement, man, but there's still a long way to go, man. There's a lot of great guys in this division, and I just want to, I'm very young. I'm 24, and I can't wait to just keep getting better with the game. Can't wait to throw my gi on. I can't wait to just do straight Muay Thai, do straight wrestling, mix it all together. You know the deal. Now, you're 24, but I see that Guns N' Roses ink on you, so you're a GNR fan. Oh, man. I know it's so cheesy, dude, but I just love... <laughs> My metal, my rock and roll, and I don't care what anybody says or thinks. If you're down with it, I'm down with you. <laughs> what's your uh, What's your walkout song for uh, Saturday? Cowboys from Hell, Pantera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good choice. Good yeah. choice. And and for all the uh, Joe Rogan fans out there, so are you really a fan of News oh, Radio? Oh, absolutely, man. News Radio. I grew up, you know, watching on the couch, fist and ice cream as a kid, you know, watching Joe Rogan. He's hilarious. His stand up's hilarious. I've actually seen him at a couple. You know, amphitheaters, uh, actually, you know, even when I think it was in the UFC, I think he was still doing that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not too sure, but, uh, yeah, I'm a huge Joe Rogan fan. I think he's hilarious, even when he jokes on me, you know. They're talking about doing a new Fear Factor. Are we going to see you on there? I, yeah, I would, I, would, I would be on there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Joe Rogan's hosting it? <laughs> absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> uh, give us your prediction. How does this fight end on Saturday night? Or it's Sunday gonna, night, excuse me, Sunday be, night. Listen, it's going to be full-blown chaos. And I can end the fight any way I want. That's all I got to say. Thanks, Christian. All right.